Hey guys, so in this video we're going to set up step 5, so that is our shipping setup. So from the main control panel we have got step 1, step 2, step 3 and step 4 are all in green. So good job, we've got this far. Now we're going to step 5, so this is your shipping and pickup. Click on that and it's going to say do you need to ship your products? Me, for my shop, I do, they're not digital products they're actually physical products that we need to ship so yes I need to set up shipping but if you're setting up a digital shop then you would say disable shipping for products which means that it would disable it and you wouldn't have to do anything else you wouldn't have to set up anything because you're not sending anything you would just have to set up that file tab that I showed you before about giving out your digital either book or music or whatever it is that you're selling digitally at the moment, we're going to be picking set up our shipping. Set your shipping methods and rates. So this is really good. So it's basically saying that you can set it up that a courier gives you an automatic, um, your cour local courier company gives you an automatic price or you set it up yourself. So if I say set custom flat rates, we can set a flat rate for the world. So the world is going to, if I was shipping from New Zealand to United States, I would have to have a set rate that I would send to them. You can do that, but what we're going to do is we're going to click on advanced shipping options, which is this one here. And basically what that does is it brings us into the shipping advanced settings. And this is great because this is we can customize it a little bit more. So what we're going to do is up here in the top right, uh, we're going to go add shipping method. Now, what this is going to say is select the region where you're shipping to. So at the moment, we've only got the world, we've got United States. And let's say I didn't have New Zealand there because that's my local country is that I'm going to be shipping around New Zealand. Say I didn't have that, I would click on create new. What that will do is it will bring me into here and I can create a zone which would be New Zealand. So I would say add new zone. I would name the zone. So we would name it New Zealand. Oops. And maybe I'll just do New Zealand too because I've already got a New Zealand over here. Now we add the country. Now there's three, three buttons here. Add country, add region, clear list. So what we're gonna do is add a country. So if we add a country and we put New Zealand in the search field, obviously if you don't live in New Zealand, don't put New Zealand, but if you you put in your country, so New Zealand's there, I tick it and I go add to country, the button just here. And that's pretty much it, you're shipping to countries. Now, if you wanted to add a certain part of New Zealand that you were shipping to, over on your right hand side, you can add states or regions. Now states are like, uh, if it's North Island or South Island only, um, say for you guys in America, it would be the different states of America, that kind of thing. Because you can set it up for different freight options for different states and that kind of thing. At the moment, I'm just sending all around New Zealand at the same cost for everywhere, it's totally fine. So make sure you click on save in the top corner. And then what we do is down here in the left hand menu, we click go back to clicking on shipping and pickup. Now what that'll do is it'll bring us back to this menu and we click on add shipping method again. In our drop down menu, we click on our newly created New Zealand 2. How am I going to calculate the shipping in option 2? Is it going to be courier calculated so that we get it from our local courier company? Is it going to be a flat rate or is it going to be a custom table? So what I'm going to show you guys today is how to use that custom table and what that's going to do is that can, that's going to work on the weight of your items like I, like I showed you before. So if we click on custom table and we click on shipping rate and delivery speed, from here um, table based on the subtotals after discount, that leave that as is rate based on range only yeah basically um you can you can have it as a range a subtotal and a weight and they can calculate it all or you can just have it as a range i'm just going to leave it as a range because it's really easy to set up that way down here under number four it says set shipping rates so basically what this is going to be is these two options here one says zero at the moment and one's blank they're going to be your 
your weight. So it's zero to, say, let's say 10 kgs. And let's say that that's going to cost me, it's a, let's just round number. Let's say it's going to cost me $5 to send something that's between zero and 10 kgs. Okay. Now I can hear yourself saying, but what if I'm over 10 kgs? That's when you click on add row. Now it can say here, it's got 10. So it's got zero to 10 here for $5. And then it's got 10 and up but I want to make it so it goes to 10 to 20 um, and keep adding rows. So what we would do is we would click on the and up and it makes a box. So now we can put in 20 and over here per order, we can say that that's going to cost me 10 bucks. Okay. Now we add another row and this time it says 20 and up. So we can keep doing that all the way up to whatever we need to. So it's going to cost a little bit more to send between 20 and 30 kgs. It's going to cost 20 bucks instead of it going up in $5 increments. And then we add another row and we say 30 and up is going to cost 50 bucks to send. It's a flat rate. Now your delivery speed down here, uh, that's going to be, I, I usually put mine as seven business days, just because it gives me that little bit of leeway time of getting everything packaged up, going down to the post office, that kind of thing. Now what we do is we click on name the shipping method and it's going to ask us, what is the shipping method? I'm going to say all of NZ, it's pretty much all the way around NZ. So it's an NZ shipping rate and we click on save and finish. And that's it. Now you can see up here, I've got a shipping method called all of NZ. It's between five and $50 and it's enabled at the moment, which is great. So that means that when your customers come through and they've brought items that will show under the shipping method and they'll be able to, it'll automatically calculate their shipping based on the weight of the items that you set up. That's why I said you make sure that your weights are perfect that you've set up in each item. And then it means that when they click buy, they pay the right amount, you get paid the right amount and you know what you're sending it as as well. So um, which which bag you're putting it in, how much, what box you're putting it in, how much it weighs, that kind of thing. Awesome, that's pretty much shipping done. Um, you can set up in-store pickup if you have an in-store pickup. If it's all online, don't worry about filling out this in-store pickup because obviously you don't have a store, but you can pick up you can sort it out pretty much what that does is it just says where is your where is your store for pickup that's it um so you can add a store to pick it up and the the settings down here shipping origin you can put it to tell you where you're shipping the items from so at the moment i'm shipping them from 563 cave place talpo uh, but you can change that and also you can add a handling fee but that is in the upgraded version don't know why you would want to add a handling fee because basically you're you're pricing your items well enough that you're including that handling fee in your items anyway so you wouldn't need to use that so it's kind of a, um, a redundant option at the moment so but that's pretty much it that's shipping done and dusted in this video any questions please fire off an email to us or ask in the comments um, or questions in the Udemy site and basically yeah enjoy the video and we'll see you in the next one